back to my channel. I just wanted to share this little recipe that I'm making. I'm making chili for the first time. Well, maybe second time. It's been a while since I've made it. It's cold out, it's snowing, and I just thought I'd make um, Yesterday I started to prepare for it, but I didn't have all my ingredients. So I have the rest of my ingredients and I will share. And let you know how it came out. Today I chopped up the onions and peppers, which I only had red, orange, and yellow. And I have the onion in here. And over here, I have my celery, which I just went and bought celery. And a green pepper. And this is the amount of pepper that I have left from each pepper. So that's how much pepper I put in there. And that's what's left of all the colors. I'm going to put this in here for a little bit of spice. Some hamburger meat. You can also do it with turkey. Turkey burger or chicken burger. But I decided to do it with beef, even though I don't eat beef that much. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put the tomato paste and these because they don't win them. I'm going to put one packet of this beef onion soup and I have one can of crushed tomatoes. And I also haven't decided whether I'm going to do both I cans. Have my minced garlic, which I chopped up yesterday. It's fresh garlic. I think fresh garlic tastes the best. But like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to use both cans or just one. And if I use one, it's going to be so the these red. Are some of the seasonings that I have. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put this pepper in there because I think the sausage might be spicy enough. I don't want to make it too spicy because my kids don't really like spicy. That's my lot. son in the background playing his game. We have chili powder, all this stuff. You just season the meat the way that you would want it seasoned. This so too. Right now I have all the peppers, onions, celery. I'm going to let them cook down a little bit. And I'm going to throw my garlic in last because I'm afraid the garlic will burn. Okay, so I have the hot sausage in there and the hamburger and i just put the garlic in also i'm going to cook this down let it cook down fully cook it's pretty much cooked i gotta try to get a little bit of the grease a little bit of this grease out of here i'm going to spoon it out as much as i can get out of there and then once i do that i'm going to start seasoning it and i had a little bit of a hiccup because my handy dandy can opener decided to die on me so it's time to get a new one it was a struggle to get these three cans open but i decided to put both cans of beans in there and here so we go the rest of the seasonings i have this i'm gonna put one pack of it in there start seasoning my meat i'm gonna play it by ear i don't measure stuff i just play it by ear this is paprika put a little bit just cover the top with some like that then we're going to do some chili, chili powder, and then mix it in. Let me smell the aromas. You could put beef broth in here, but... I'm going to put a can of this which has the jalapenos in it. I'm going to bring the heat with the hot sausage in this. That should be enough heat. I like it hot, but not hot, hot. And then we'll put the sauce in of crushed tomatoes. And I'll probably fill this up maybe twice with some water because I might put paste in here too. I wish I had some beef broth, but I don't. We'll have to make do with what we have. Some parsley, some rosemary. Put some paste in there. I put two cans of water and then a half of a can of water in here. I haven't put the beans in yet. I'm going to let this marinate and get its seasonings and put a little more paste in there. And then I will test it to see if it needs any more seasonings. I'm waiting for this to cook down a little bit before I add my beans because I don't want them to be really mushy. Not that I know if they will get mushy, but just in case. Cook that down a little bit. I keep drinking this iced coffee and it's actually 
making me hyperventilate. I think I have too much caffeine. <laughs> Woo! Caffeine! Strong today! Oil now. I put that much. This was actually the biggest can of paste I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if you can tell. Usually they're like really small. They're usually like down to here. So I didn't put the whole thing in there. I don't know how thick it's going to get with two, basically two of these. Two, two and a half of these. And then I put that much. And then I also put a tablespoon of sugar in there. Just because that's something that I do with my sauce when I make spaghetti sauce. It takes away the sourness. So we'll see how that works. And now that it's boiling, I'm gonna turn it down to low. And I'm gonna let it cook for about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna put my beans in it. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix and kick back on the couch while it's simmering away. Check on it. Ooh. I'm gonna have to turn it down a little bit lower. So I added black beans to it because I didn't have enough. I felt like there wasn't enough beans in it. But look at that. Looks delicious, scrumptious. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so good. Can't wait to taste it. Delicioso. Can't wait to try it. Oh my god, so the chili came out so freaking good. I have to say, pat myself on the back. This came bomb. out bomb. 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 That's all I can say. It's well, bomb. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chili video I made, and it is absolutely delicious. Delicious. Let me know what you think if you try it. Bye, love you.